Hi, I'm Rob Benedict, and I'm in Hollywood with Holly Shorts. Well, I have a movie that's premiering tonight uh, called The Sidekick, and uh, it's, we're calling it a featurette. It's in the short category. It's a 30-minute long film, and it's about a, si a superhero sidekick who gets let go because he's 40, and he's just not cutting it anymore. And so he has to figure out what to do with his life because all he's ever been skilled at doing is saying, like, get in, here, catch, you know, look out. And so he has to figure out where he fits in in the real world. I got to tell you, I really enjoyed that film. It was so much fun. Your character, you had the best catchphrases. Uh, <laughs> I, I was literally just like smiling the whole time. Tell me a little bit about your experience with working on that film. Well, you know, it was, uh, I wrote it and it was a real like labor of love for me. Um, it, it came out of this... I turned 40 and I had this like realization that I've been an actor for most of my life and that if I wasn't acting I wouldn't be it's too late for me like there's nothing else I could do really um, I'm not qualified to do anything else but to do this and just that feeling of like oh my god you know without this what would I do and that kind of got me thinking about the sidekick the superhero sidekick who really didn't have any superpowers if he wasn't doing that what would he be doing and then it just sort of became this allegory for like what's your real purpose in life and and where in life do you find that you could be the number one, someone who's always been the number two, you know, and so it was just, it was like this personal thing for me, and and it just kind of came together, like I found Michael Whitehorn who, who directed it, and he and I produced it together, and and I got all my friends being it, Lizzie Kaplan and Ron Livingston, and some fantastic people, so, and it just came to life, so the whole, every step has been such a really cool thing for me, going from this sort of midlife crisis to to this has been kind of cool. It's like your, your biopic. <laughs> exactly, it's my biopic, it's my biopic. Yeah, with, t with tights. Yeah, exactly. Well, you mentioned Lizzie Kaplan. You have like a star-studded list of actors in this film. Tell me a little bit about your process of finding who you wanted to play these roles. And you know, I had never, um, I kind of just, I went there with this. You know, I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to pull out all the stops. I'm going to go to all my friends that I've worked with over the years, or I've known over the years, and just say, hey, are you around? And, and most, almost all of them were like, yeah, I can do it. I'm available. It's a dream, really. And so... Lizzie Kaplan, uh, Martin Starr, uh, uh, Jason Ritter, so many great people. Um, Ike Barinholtz, who's on the Mindy Show, Jordan Peele, all these really cool people uh, that I've just been friends with for so long stepped up. And so, it, again, it just became even more like, it's like, it was this is your life, you know? It's like all these people I've known over the years that playing these parts that I wrote for them. Um, so, yeah, it just kind of all came together in a great way in a panicked five-day shoot. Five days? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What was the budget you guys were working with? Uh, 60000 which is a lot for a short, but for a half-hour short. And we wanted it to be something that looked like a feature. You know, We didn't want it to look like we shot it on our iPhone. We wanted it to look like a, a slice out of a feature. Like it could be a superhero movie you're watching. And then we thought the comedy would play even better when then you see these guys doing their laundry in the laundry mat and you know well you mentioned this is your first time at holly shorts why do you think it's important to support these types of festivals i mean first of all f there are filmmakers everywhere and there are incredible filmmakers everywhere and the more film festivals there are the more outlets there are for people to show their work and you know that's especially now when you know, the film industry is in a weird place, you know, it's not where it was in the 80s, and um, so the only movies that are getting uh, put out are the ones that they know they can make big bank on. So with film festivals, you have all these other theaters opening up that can show really good quality films where it's not about making money, it's about showing your art. And so, you know, the, and to have a shorts-only festival I think is fantastic because not everybody has the budget or the ability to make a two-hour movie. I mean, we certainly didn't, even with all those people and our resources, like, a two-hour feature is hard to make, man, you know? And so, you, you know, a, sh a short is a, is a viable, uh, you know, a, a, a great uh, piece to be, and a, and a viable movie to be showcased. So that's why this is so fantastic. No one's running out to, like, buy their tickets to go see a short on a Friday night. So... That's what this is for. Have a great outlet. Yeah. Any plans to turn this into a feature at some point? No, originally that was the main plan. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that was the main plan originally is to make this into a feature. But um, we decided after we made it, it felt more like a pilot. And we wanted to turn it into a TV show. And so we've been pitching it now as a series because it, it has like, now it has legs. It feels like it could be a series. So that's, that's the direction we're aiming right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.